Segmenting moving objects in videos is a classic problem that's seen renewed interest since the release of the Davis dataset. Here we consider the unsupervised case where no user input is supplied. Our goal is to use motion cues to differentiate foreground from background. In this paper, we show that simply and directly modeling background motion is an effective way to segment foreground objects. A standard way to leverage motion for this task is to compute long-term tracks, and then apply clustering techniques to group them. The affinity functions used in the clustering methods typically assume a 2D translational motion model, then rely on the clustering process to group tracks despite deviations from this model. Our method instead uses more flexible, homography-based motion models, and focuses explicitly on modeling the motion of the background. Focusing on following prior work, we begin by computing long-term tracks. Next, we use RANSAC to fit a homography between each consecutive pair of frames. This gives us a robust initial estimate of the background motion with only a small number of parameters. Looking at all observations of a single track, we can assess how well that track fits the sequence of homographies we computed. Each track gets a continuous score saying how confident we are that it's foreground. Here, blue tracks have high foreground confidence, and green tracks have high background confidence. We then refine these confidences by optimizing a robust cost function that considers all frames at once. Looking at each track as a whole allows us to correctly identify tracks like those on the bear's feet that are part of a foreground even though their motion matches the background motion in many frames. Finally, to get a dense segmentation, we use the tracks as the data term in a bilateral spaced graph cut optimization inspired by the recent semi-supervised bilateral video segmentation method. This approach allows us to efficiently solve for a dense, edge-aware, and smooth binary segmentation. In the following result clips, we first showed the track confidences, then the final dense segmentation. Our method is very efficient. After computing tracks, our technique takes just a little over a half a second per frame on these 480p videos. Using homographies to model the background motion works in a restricted but surprisingly common set of scenarios. In particular, one, our simple homography background motion model works well for rigid backgrounds that are either planar, distant, or observed by a camera that's undergoing only rotation, not translation. Despite these simplifying assumptions, our method outperforms all other motion-based methods on the Davis 2016 unsupervised benchmark, and achieves competitive performance compared to the state-of-the-art saliency-based method. Our method also qualitatively works quite well on other video segmentation datasets, such as FBMS and BVSD. In future work, there's lots of room for more sophisticated motion models to handle some of our method's failure cases, which we show here. More sophisticated motion models could handle more general camera motion that includes translation, as well as backgrounds with non-rigid content, such as rippling water. As it is, our method serves as a strong baseline for motion-based techniques. And because our technique is purely motion-based, it can also be combined with complementary methods that use machine learning to leverage semantics and saliency information. Thanks for your attention, and I look forward to seeing you at my poster.